VLF Metal Detection System Install the main unit by attaching it to the handle of the arm. Install the search coil. Then extend the arm, wind the cable at arm's length, and connect it into the main unit. Enter the search systems. The device will switch to the VLF system automatically. The VLF system screen contains several indicators. An indicator of the level of the non-precious metals, ferrous. An indicator of the level of precious metals, non-ferrous. A positive button and a negative button to control the sensitivity level on the search coil. The X button to ignore iron. How to handle Titan 400 smart device with VLF system. Pass your arm through the arm set and belt. Hold the detector's handle and support your forearm in the armrest. The correct positioning of the armrest should allow you to comfortably grip the handle. The elbow joint should be over the back of the armrest. You should feel the detector like an extension of your forearm. Adjust the arm's length. Extend the bottom shaft to the length appropriate for the user and secure the lock in the middle of the shaft to secure the column position. Extend the middle shaft and secure the lock on the upper shaft to fix the position of the shaft. The device handle can also be moved to match the user arm's length. If the search coil is too close to your body, it may detect drilling tools or any other metals that you carry, which affects the accuracy of the device's work. So it must be kept at a sufficient distance from your body. Set the search coil's angle. Attach the plastic screw that attaches the lower shaft to the search coil. Then tighten it enough to hold the coil in place. While holding the detector, gently press the search coil onto the ground until it is in parallel with the surface of the earth. The search coil should be raised 2 cm from the ground while keeping it parallel to the ground. The scanning coil. Note that incorrect scanning may cause loss of target or false signals to be generated. You will get the best performance when wiping the coil close and parallel to the ground at all times. This will increase the depth of detection and improve the response to small objects. Avoid excessive contact with the floor. Start the search process by moving the device left and right. When a precious metal signal is detected, the device will make a sound as the precious metal level indicator moves. When a precious metal signal is detected, the device will make a sound as the precious metal level indicator moves.
If the signal is issued by a non-precious metal, the device will sound in a different tone as the non-precious metal level indicator moves. If you're only searching for precious metals, press the ignore iron button. When a non-precious metal is detected, the device will mute the sound with the non-precious metal level indicator moving. The device can capture two metals, precious and non-precious at the same time, and distinguish between them through the movement of the indicators of both precious and non-precious metals, and making two different sounds together. If the device picks up two metals, both precious and non-precious, and the ignore iron button is activated, the indicators of the level of precious and non-precious metals will move with the sound only for the precious metal. We will be passing a group of both precious and non-precious metals simultaneously. It consists of a piece of 24 karat gold pieces of raw gold, iron nails, and coins. When passing a group of precious and non-precious metals, we notice that the device distinguishes between them through the movement of the indicators of the level of precious and non-precious metals and making two different sounds together.